Using the Safari web browser on your iPad can be quite a lot of fun, and let's take a look at some basics about how to get the most out of it. To get started, let's tap the Safari icon, which is in the lower left corner here. If you haven't visited a web page yet, you'll see this page right here. In the upper right corner, I can type any Google search I want, anytime. I can skip the step of going all the way to Google and typing my search, and I just type it right there. For instance, if I wanted to look up Made Simple Learning, I just type that in. And you notice as I start typing, all the suggestions appear. If I want to go for the top one, I'm going to hit that. And then I see the second link there is the one I want, so I can tap that. So here we are on the website. And if I want to go back, the upper left corner, that little triangle, is the back button. Tap that once, and I'm back to where I was. And if I want to go forward, I tap the forward arrow next to it. Now right next to that you see a four. That means I've got four web pages open. If I want to see all of them, I just tap that number four up there in the corner. And I can see all four pages and I can jump back and forth between them. If I want to open up a new page, I'd tap this new page right here. And then how do you type a web address? Let's say I want to go to the New York Times. So I type in the address bar right there. And then I'm just going to type in the web address. And if you've been there before, notice the pop-up menu here. It can save you some time. In this case, I'm just going to type it. And there's a .com button right here at the bottom. So go ahead and tap the .com. Save even more time. And then tap Go. So now we're at the New York Times. So let's take a look at how to move around this page. Like you'd expect, if you put your finger at the bottom and gently touch and drag it up, you can slide the whole page up. If you go fast, you can slide up a lot faster and down and so on. Now there's a couple ways to zoom in. Let's say I wanted to read this section for Obama calls for debt deal and I can put my fingers together on the screen and then pinch open to zoom in. The other way to zoom quickly is to double tap the screen. The nice thing about double tapping is that Safari will zoom you in only so much, usually to a column width. If you want to go to a link, just touch anything that's underlined, or this headline's a link, so I'm going to touch that. So different colors usually are links. Now let's look at the difference here. If I double tap, watch what happens. Notice that it quickly zoomed in to just the column width. So double tapping, double tap again, it'll zoom back out. Double tapping can save you a little bit of time, because if you pinch open, look what happens. You're going to have to slide back and forth to read everything. So double tap to zoom to column width. Here's another trick. If you tap the time in the upper edge once, it zooms you right to the top of the page, and you can navigate from there. Now, if you really like this page, you want to add a bookmark. And you want to tap this button. That's your share button. And let's add the bookmark. One tip on the bookmarks is to make those bookmark names pretty short and readable. So I just wanted to say New York Times, politics. So I'm going to push the X here and just type NYT space politics. And then tap save. I could change where the bookmark's stored by tapping here and then store it on the bookmarks or the bookmarks bar. Let's put it on the bookmarks bar. Tap save. Now I've got that on my bookmarks bar. Now how do you see your bookmarks you've saved? Tap the little book up here. Now we're actually viewing history. If I want to look at my bookmarks, I tap bookmarks there. And then I can look at the bookmarks bar. And there's my New York Times politics. You can edit bookmarks by tapping there. And you can drag things up or down in the right column or delete things by tapping that. Let's tap done. And to close up this window, just tap anywhere on the page. And we've closed the window. Now what else can you do with the share button? Let's tap this one again. Notice you can add to home screen. If you really like this page and you want easy access to it, tap add to home screen. And again, I would shorten the title, maybe Obama NYT, and then tap add. And there it is. The reason I shorten it is pretty obvious here. You only have a few letters to show. So I would make the name pretty short and then you're right back there. So what else can you do? You can actually print from here or mail a link. If you tap mail a link, it would start up a email message and then print. This assumes you have a printer set up in your current Wi-Fi network. You would select your printer, you could adjust the copies and then tap print. 
So those are the basics about how to get around your web browser, add bookmarks, print pages, and more. Thanks for watching and listening.